morning and greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ to all the brothers and sisters and young and elderly seniors listening to this meditation coming from Life Spring Assembly. I am Pastor Mathai. God bless you and his grace be multiplied in your life. I would like to meditate today about um, a passage found in the Gospel according to St. Luke chapter 4 verses 31 to 44. And um, we have in this passage twice uh, Jesus casting out demons. And so that is, that is my, my passage. From this passage, I would like to pass on to you uh, two lessons, which are very, very important for us uh, two or three, no, I think uh, the four lessons. And God's blessing be upon you as you listen. May the Holy Spirit enlighten you and uh, open your mind. You know, notice you, if you read this passage, you will notice the, the, the clear religious or spiritual knowledge possessed by the devil and his demons. And in fact, twice in this passage, it is very evident. Verse 34, the, the, the evil spirit is crying out to Jesus who was uh, driving him out. And the, the devil started, the demon started crying, go away. What do you want with us, Jesus of Nazareth? Have you come to destroy us? I know who you are, the Holy One of God. And then again in verse 41, this is what we read. Moreover, demons came out of many people because of Jesus. And uh, it says, shouting as the demons were coming out of people, they were shouting, you are the Son of God. I want you to, to, to meditate with me. So we have twice in this passage, we have this demon sh shouting out the truth. Now my people, the Bible also says, my people perish because of the lack of knowledge. But here the devil and his demons, now I want you to take note of this possess the right knowledge the right knowledge concerning Jesus yet the devil is destined to eternal condemnation along with his demons why you see you when there are many Christians today who do not have a, such a knowledge of who Jesus Christ is but here are his devil and his demons possessing the right kind of knowledge concerning Jesus. And um, why is it? In spite of all that correct knowledge they possess, yet they, have, they, are, they, have, they, they are going to eternal condemnation. Why? Because their knowledge was not accompanied by faith, hope, and love. It is very important that you may possess the right knowledge, and yet if that knowledge is not accompanied by faith and hope and love concerning Jesus, that knowledge itself will not bring you into heaven, into the presence of God. The devil had knowledge, yet was full of bitter hatred, both against God and man. That is the problem. He not only really had no faith, but he, 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 is, he is filled with the bitter uh, hatred towards God. 
what is the lesson we can learn from this let us be aware of an unsanctified knowledge of christ or christianity and the people who possess that kind of knowledge without the faith and love you know they say we know everything and they are not usually very teachable because they think the way their knowledge is going to take them to heaven but they are deceiving themselves we may know the bible intellectually and have no doubt about the truth of its contents that can be there and we may memorize its leading uh, texts and may even be able to talk and discourse on its doctrines there are people like that and at the same time the bible may have no influence over our hearts and wills and consciences the word of god you may know in in letter and yet the word has no influence on your relationship with the lord god on your relationship with others on your actions there is nothing the word of god the knowledge that you possess will not help you my brother my sister it is time for us to allow our faith to rise up and accompany that knowledge in reality we may be nothing better than the demons you know concerning faith yes faith is everything everybody says <laughs> and james says in his letter you say you have faith yeah very good but the devil also have faith he also believes but where does his belief taking him so what does that mean we may not be better than these demons we may go on all our lives saying i know that i know that and i know that and yet sink into hell at last my brothers and sisters do not deceive yourself and i pray we must see that our knowledge bears fruit in our lives let me mention few fruit that must be evident does our knowledge of sin make us hate it do you hate sin in all its form does our knowledge of christ to make us love and trust him does our knowledge of god's will make us strive to do it god's will for example god's will says it is my will that you be holy are you striving to be holy does our knowledge of the fruit of the spirit to make us strive to show it do we show in our lives in our attitude the fruit of the holy spirit then you can boast about your knowledge and the truth is when you allow faith to accompany your knowledge you will not be proud you will be more humble in our knowledge is our knowledge accompanied by faith hope and love to influence and affects us effectively think about it and i pray that you will see to it that your faith is uh, your knowledge is accompanied by faith hope 
and love and they become an instrument or become a living tree in the garden of his church bringing forth fruit of the holy spirit as we read in galatians chapter 5 verse 22 the fruit of the spirit amen this is god's will this is god's desire for you so why don't you give yourself to the lord god almighty and ask him to fill you with the holy spirit who will produce the fruit of the spirit in you and thus your faith will become active and alive and because of your faith accompanied by faith and because of your your knowledge accompanied by your faith and hope and love that knowledge can produce much wonderful sweet fruit in your life give yourself to the holy spirit and you need the holy spirit spirit of god we confess that many times we fail in our christian life because we don't allow faith hope and love accompany our knowledge and i pray that everyone who listen to this meditation shall be able to understand the seriousness of the mistake we make when we possess only knowledge and then boast about it and become useless in the kingdom of god jesus name amen god bless you and as you live the your life today make sure that you are led by the holy spirit and your faith increases so that your knowledge can become more more evident and draw people to jesus amen